Hello everybody, this is Donna. Welcome to my channel, Restore Glory. Thank you so much for stopping by. Restore Glory is the name of my Etsy shop and Restore Glory is the name of my YouTube channel. If you have not done so before, please do hit the subscribe button so that when I do upload videos, um, you guys will be notified and um, with new content. Now, this particular video is not a haul video. I'm trying something new. I'm really trying my best to be consistent and put up more content. I have tons of ideas in my head, but I just don't have the time to execute them. And so um, I, I, I just want to be able to put out more content because if I, being a reseller, I love watching other videos from other resellers. I really do. Haul videos are great. Come shop along with me. Videos are great. Um, but this one is a little bit different. This is not a haul video. It's more so over the last three years that I have been reselling, I have found some amazing stuff. I am not an expert at anything. I pretty much go with my gut. And, and you know who taught me that was uh, Lavender Clothesline? I pretty much go with my gut. If I like something, I usually pick it up. If it looks unusual or odd or out of place, I'm drawn to those types of things because I'm a little quirky myself, but I like quirky. Um... But in any event, I have uh, learned to, I don't want to use because it'll sound so pretentious, like uh, I've trained my eye. No, it's not that at all. I am drawn to stuff that I absolutely like myself. It looks funny. It looks interesting. And I'm just drawn to it. So over the last couple of months, I have been collecting items. Some of these items that I'm about to show you are items that... Um, I have not had an opportunity to list. However, I have them in a pile to photograph and get listed. But in the meantime, what I wanted to do was just definitely look them up. And I am surprised to note that the items that I show you here, who knew? Like who literally knew? Right? Who knew that these items had value? I did not know. So I thought that I would share these items with you because you should be on the lookout for them as well. Because while they look nondescript or you think you may even go right past them thinking that they are they um don't have any value but they do and so i'm surprised i thought i would share those with you some of these items you very well may know about and that's okay too but for those of you who don't it may be all it may be all new to you so i thought i would share with you and i'm going to try to do this as i go along if i find things that are interesting and then i i uh end up looking it up and as i spend a dollar nine dollar ninety nine for it and this thing ends up going for two hundred dollars then you know i'll let you guys know case in point about a couple of months ago i found this uh stone looking statue it was a statue of a cat not particularly uh striking it was a stone a, a cat star um sorry a cat carved out of stone probably about maybe 10 inches tall and it was signed on the bottom. I don't remember the name of the maker, but I think I paid $9.99 for it because it looked interesting. It looked like it could have been something. And uh, so when I got home, I found out that it was. And so I looked up the um, the uh, the mark and I looked up the signature and um, that piece sold for over $200. It was amazing. I can't remember what it was. I'm going to see if I can try to find a picture of it. And, uh, and maybe if I can, I'll, I'll put it here, but, um, so you guys can know, be on the lookout for that. But again, it looked like something that, that could be in somebody's outside garden. It was really kind of rustic looking and, um, and it just was a, a sculpture of a cat, you know, and it didn't look anything. And I put it on the shelf and I took it down. I put it on the shelf and I took it down. Finally, I put it in my cart. I said, you know what, Donna, take a chance. Took that baby home, looked it up, and I'm telling you right now, they were all going for in that, you know, 180 and 200 and above. And I paid $9.99 for it. So that's what this haul is all about. And I hope that it, uh, as it has helped me as I am sourcing and keeping my eye on things, I hope that it helps you. All right? So who knew, right? So the first item I'm going to show you is this very vintagey looking, very retro looking wooden box, right? Beautiful colors, love that subject matter. I'm going to take my time on this video, guys, so you guys can really see these items so you can be on the lookout for them um, because who knew? Um, so this one looks kind of cute. It almost looks like it's kind of crafty, right? It's painted in this mustard colored uh, colored box. And to me, I was drawn to it because of the subject. I thought it was completely, completely beautiful. So, and I think I paid $4.99 for it. So then when I opened it up, as you can see, just a regular wooden box. As you can see, it does have a signature there. I hope you guys can see that. There is a signature. And it says Severin, and I'll spell that. It's S E 
V E R I N Severin. And it, it could be French, I'm not really sure. But when I looked up that name Severin, these things go for an excellent amount of money, like $69, $70. I think I saw one that was even in the hundreds, right? Very nondescript box. You would think probably looking at it that maybe some child put these stickers on here because it reminds me of like Holly Hobby. But honestly, these boxes go for good money. So please look out for the Severin brand, right? I, as you can see on the top of these, I think this, what well, I know, that this one had a handle on it. It does not. But if I recall, I remember seeing some that were kind of sort of really beat up and didn't have a handle, but they still sold for good money. So again, I paid about $4.99, maybe $3.99 or $4.99 for this particular box. And... Um, I'm going to get this baby listed soon, but again, be on the lookout for the Severin brand. If you see this box or anything that looks close to that, that looks kind of a uh, homemade or, you know, retro. I mean, I just love the subject matter on this box. It's so very, very cute. Look at that. Just adorable. So be on the lookout for this. So who knew, right? All right, the next item I'm going to show you is already in the bag. I haven't taken it out. These are Mexican, handmade, hand-painted Mexican maracas, right? And so as you can see, I paid $2.99 for these babies and uh, they are wooden and they're all hand painted. I have about five bags. I just grabbed them. I didn't care. I just grabbed them. It was just one of those days where I didn't really feel like uh, figuring it out. I just kind of sort of grabbed them. But the good news is that these maracas actually go for good money. I think I saw a set of two that was going for about uh, $26 or something like that or whatever, these wooden ones in particular. Um, I may be mistaken on that. I'm just trying to remember this from me looking it up initially. But I do remember that when I did, uh, did some research on these babies, these maracas go for great money. I don't know why. Maybe because they're hand painted. Maybe because they're kitschy. Maybe because they're wooden. I'm not really sure. But I grabbed them. So I figure, uh, let me just show you this one. I figure... I don't know if you guys can see. They're all hand-painted. Hand and I have about, I want to say I have about six bags. I'm pretty sure I have about six bags at $2.99 a piece. So, again, who knew that these things, maybe maybe they're used in high school, uh, not high school, but maybe they're used in school plays or um, maybe some, somebody's looking at them for like set designers or something. I'm not really sure. I don't really know. But I remember when I initially... Uh, look these up. They actually go for good money. So I think for my $3 investment, I'll put these up and uh, I'll probably uh, definitely make my money back and more. So be on the lookout for Mexican maracas um, that are particularly hand painted. And uh, you may come up, uh, you may be, may be surprised at what they'll sell for. All right. The next item I have to look at my iPad because I had to remember what the heck these things were called. So let me just show you one. So I know you guys know about the dollar horses. The dollar horses are, um, let's see, the dollar horses are, I want to say either Scandinavian, Swedish or whatever. They are highly, highly collectible. They come in various sizes. I actually have sold a couple of them. Like uh, I found, find them in the wild every now and then. The dollar horses, the Scandinavian wooden dollar, D-A-L-A -A horses. They come up, I see them in the wild every now and then. But uh, over the last couple of months, I found these horses, right? They are, you could absolutely tell they are quality horses, wooden horses. They have this kind of sort of straw tail and mane. Like they're kind of reminiscent of the dollar horses, right? But that's not what they're called. They are called Japanese carved wooden hand-painted Yawata Uma folk art. So Yawata is Y-A-W-A-T-A -A -A, Uma well, U-M-A, folk art. And so I've been finding these and I've been collecting these and I'm I'm finding them for like next to nothing. I, I have a whole lot of these. I want to say I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine of them. And depending on the size, they can go anywhere from $19.99 to I think I saw $26, depending on the size, for one. And I have probably seven or eight of these, I think. I have to go back and look at my, because I've just been collecting them, right? But so I know that you guys will keep your eye out on the uh, the um, Scandinavian dollar horses for sure. Keep your eye out on those because those do sell well, but these babies do too. They are Japanese Yawata Uma 
folk art and they are stunningly beautiful like i have this beautiful blonde colored one as you can see all the hand painting then i have this um this black one i have a black one and some of them are not in the best shape but still i think that probably adds to the sh the charm of them i do like this one this one is actually relatively big too as you can see and then i have a red one Yeah, these things go for really, really good money. And then let me show you this last one. This one is actually, it came, hold on a second. It came in this box. And, uh, yep, it came in this box with this label. And I believe this is absolutely brand new. This is a blue one. And this is a good size, too. Aren't they beautiful? Just beautiful. They they kind of sort of remind you of the, of the uh, dollar horses, too. But these are collectible, too. So, again, they're called Japanese. Um, Yawata Uma, and I'll put the I'll put the information down here in the link, guys, just in case um, you guys miss it. And I may very well be maybe uh, pronouncing these things wrong, but anyway, look out for those. Who knew those things had value? But they do. So if you see them and you, they say, "Oh, this reminds me of the um, of the dollar horses," pick them up because they do they do sell. All right. So the next I I'm going to show you are these, um, they're already in the box and I paid uh, $3.99 for all of these actually. And I know you guys, I have a ton of figurines, like animal figurines and I have uh, Left and Christopher collections, which I just sold some of those, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, all types of animal figurines. I have actually slowed down on buying animal figurines just because I have a ton of it. And some of it sits and some of it does sell, but it sells slowly. But that's okay because I uh, my uh, my investment is not that much. But these I ran across probably around Christmas time, actually. And these, I'm not sure if you guys have heard of these. These are called Charming Tales. All of them are in their original boxes. And this one in particular is called uh, A Tulip for Two, right? So they're Charming Tales, a tulip for two. And just so you know, guys, look out for these as well. Let me just show you. I'm going to pull this one out because these sell really well. I want to say anywhere from $20, $20 on up. Again, this is new in box. As a matter of fact, this one that's called a tulip for two, I think this went for like $26, right? So just look at that. It's, it's new in package, never been opened. This is adorable. Look at that little snail. Isn't that cute? Look at the little mouse. So cute. New in package, new in the box, the foam, and everything. And as you can see from my tag, I paid $3.99. I got about, I want to say I got about five of them. About five of these. Yeah, I'm sure I did. I got about five of these. So again, look out for your figurines for sure. Some of them are collectible. Some of them were hot at one point. But these right here, they do sell. I looked them up. Here's another one. This one is called... Um, hold on for a second. This one is called... I don't even know what it's called. But it's cute though. Let me see if I can show you that. Can you guys see that? Yep. So it's Charming Tales by Dean Griff. Let me show you that so you guys can be on the lookout for that. Right? And it says Silvestri. So I'm not sure if Silvestri is the one that actually manufactures them and put them out. Put them out. I'm not really sure. But again, when you're looking for figurines, don't overlook Charming Tales because these, like I said, are new in box. I have, I have a bunch and I'm so glad I do. But I'm going to put these up soon because they have like an Easter summary kind of feel for them, uh, a theme to them. So I'm going to try to get these listed fairly soon. But again, look out for Charming Tales. Who knew? Alrighty, so that's that. I showed you that. All right, so the next item I'm going to show you, I know you guys know um, George Briard. Most of the resellers know George Briard, Culver, all of those kind of sort of mid-century modern um, designers. And I'm, I, because I was born in the 60s, I am so drawn to that type of aesthetic and I totally love that type of decor. I just love it. Uh, my, my decor is really all over the place. I'm bohemian. I'm everything. But again, I know you guys are very familiar with George Briard, B-R-I-A-R-D, Briard. Look him up if you don't know him, but his uh his items can go for good money. I've sold George Briard ice buckets, um, these type of trays. Um, I've I've sold George Briard glasses. It's just been pretty amazing. So anyway, guys, I'm so sorry. I'm actually waiting for a delivery. 
I didn't want to go out today because it's poured down raining. And if I have to stop the video, I will uh, pick up in a minute. But anyway, moving on. So be on the lookout for this. First of all, isn't this stunningly beautiful? This red and this black is beautiful. The subject matter looks like it's two uh, knights on a horse, if I'm looking at that correctly. Two knights on a horse. I'm trying to get out of the way so you guys can see it. But the artist, it is signed, but it's not George Briard, believe it or not. It's called Dan Baird. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see that signature. Dan Baird, B-A-I-R-D, not Briard. Now, I'm not really sure if this was a play on Briard's name, because if you scramble out Briard, uh, Baird, it, it, you, you, it spells Briard. But nonetheless, I didn't realize these things have fleur-de-lis. Huh. My husband's from New Orleans. That's the reason why I love the fleur-de-lis. Um, but anyway, here's the deal. This one sells well. This one sells just as good as um, George Briard. I'm going to do a little bit more research. Maybe that was his, you know, his pseudo name. I don't really know. <laughs> his ghost name. But nonetheless, this tray is stunningly, stunningly beautiful. I love it. So be on the lookout. If you see George Briard, for sure pick it up. But who knew that Dan Briard is actually uh, sells for good money too. As you can see, I paid $1.99 for this. And I think these were going for... It was well over $20, I'm pretty sure. It was well over $20. So be on the lookout for Dan Baird, B-A-I-R-D. And here's the thing. Let me tell you this too, guys. Um, when I saw these, I picked up one because I'm like, okay, Donna, just take a chance on it and look it up because it was only $1.99. There were actually four or five of these trays on the shelf, at least four or five of them. And when I went home and I looked them up and I'm like, oh my God, I should have just grabbed all of them. I said, okay, no worries, Donna. You can go back to the store the next day and you can get them. But guess what? They were all gone. They were all gone. And they were, they were different uh, shapes. I think there were some round ones. There was another one like this, maybe smaller, but they were all in that $1.99 range. And I was so mad because when I went back, they were all gone. So probably another reseller uh, picked them up or maybe somebody saw it and liked the subject and said, you know what? I'm going to grab them because they look cute. But I totally, totally, totally dig this one. So again, who knew that Dan Baird was just as popular as Georges Briard and it does bring good money. All right, the next item I'm going to show you are, you guys may very well know Nathalie uh, Letete, 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 I believe that's French. Anyway, I have sold, for whatever reason, I have sold a ton of these plates. I have sold a ton of these. I found, I don't know, a few years ago, I think I found like a set of six and they all sold for amazingly good money. So as you can see from my tag here, I paid $1.99 for this plate. I have two of them. Here's this one that's kind of pinky and this one is kind of bluey. But anyway, I have a set of two. So be on the lookout for, or uh, who knew that Natalie Latet, and I don't know if Latet, because the accent is on the E, Latet, I don't know. Anyway, um, who knew that these plates go for good money? These plates per plate can run anywhere from $40 to $60 per plate, per plate. And I know that for a fact because I have sold them. <laughs> I have absolutely sold them. This is the pink one, and this is the blue one. And I'm showing you this name to be on the lookout. I have found both of these. At, uh, these ones I found at, um, at Goodwill. And they put them, as you can see, they put them over where the plates are, and they probably don't know this particular um, uh, brand, which is completely fine with me. So keep them under $2. I'm okay with that. But I'm just informing you guys who knew that this particular plate uh, from Natalie, um, goes for good money. I think that people collect them, um, and they hold their value too. People, they definitely do hold their value. So anyway, so be on the lookout for those. Uh, the next item I'm going to show you are, I have a set of two of these and I'll just show you them to you real quick, the two, and then I'll just put this one down and I'll show you. Now I'm going to show you the bottom and I don't know if I'm going to be pronouncing this right, but it's Henri Bendel, B-E-N-D-E-L. Um, I paid, hold on for a second. I think I paid $1.99 for these mugs. They have this black and white stripe on the bottom. It is, um, the maker's name is right there. Can you guys see that? That's kind of weird to do it that way, but the maker's name is like right there, Henri Bendel. And... 
This one is kind of cool because it has this, uh, I, I was going to say girls night out, but it's not. It's like a fashionista type of uh, mug with all of these wonderful, fabulous uh, women and who are uh, just dapper. They're, they're doing their thing, right? I'm going to try to show you all of these. But anyway, Henri Bendel, they are famous for their black and white kind of sort of striped um, ceramics. So if you see black and white stripes um, on a mug, you know, I always look for that just because of Mackenzie Childs. But also um, anything that looks kind of interesting, again, I usually pick up just to just to look at it. So when I, I remember these, when I picked them up for $1.99, I really like them just because of the subject, right? Totally love them. Totally know that, you know, um, somebody who's into fashion would totally dig this. And, you know, even for my $1.99, and particularly since I had a set of two, that I can probably easily sell them for about, you know, I was going to, I have no idea. I, I don't know if I was going to do 15 a piece or, you know, between 12 and $15 a piece for each one of them. To my surprise, these Henri Bendel mugs go for humongous money. Humongous, humongous. Um, I checked Etsy, I checked eBay, and one mug can sell for over $100 easily, easily. Now, they do have different subject matters, but this one that has the fashion, I'm calling it fashion, fashion Nisto, fashion girls, I recently sold on Etsy for, I want to say $120 for this, this one, for this one mug. So, and I've actually had these in my stash for a good little while. I have no idea. So anyway, I recently just listed these babies on um, Macari. And I have them on Macari, a set of two. I think I have them for $80 a piece. So for $160 for a set of two. And like I said, I've, I've been seeing one go for $120. But I figure I just want to kind of sort of move them. And I'm hoping that that $160 price would get me some uh, get me some people who are interested because of the popularity of Henri Bendel. And if I remember correctly, I looked up that this store was a very, very popular store in Paris and around the world, actually. And then it went out of business. I don't know if they went bankrupt. Please forgive me if that's not the case. But they are no longer in business. And they sold, they're kind of sort of not as high end as Hermes. But um, they were kind of sort of in that same, when they were hot, they were kind of sort of in that same uh um, club, if you will, but um, because they sold scarves, handbags, all types of high-end luxury items. So the name Henri Bendel um, is is people love it, and now that they've gone out of business, their stuff is highly sought after. So again, if you guys are out and about and you see some mugs that have this striped uh, handle, take a look at it because it very well may be Henri Bendel. Who knew, right? All right, the next item I'm going to show you, I think I have this one and this one and then one other. All right, another name you guys should look out for is, uh, this is called Tusher and Walter. I'm going to show it to you because I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. You guys see that? All right, so who knew? I paid, uh, I think it was $2.99. Very kind of sort of old school toys, I guess, or old school. Oh yeah, old school toys, right? Um, and this one have I'm, I won't wind it up, but um, wait a second, I see something. Oh, it's made in Germany. Okay, God, this is made in Germany, right? So this one is musical. It definitely is very musical. I won't wind it up, as you can see. But apparently, this Tusher and Walther um, uh, brand sells really well. This is this is metal. This is absolutely pure metal. It's not cheap metal, as you can see. And on top of the fact that it is musical. I won't, it'll go away in a minute. But anyway, if you guys are out and about and you see this particular, um, this particular label and it's metal and it looks kind of vintage and retro, pick this baby up too, because I remember correctly, again, I'm, I'm pretty sure I only pay like $2.99, $3.99 for it. And I think that these individual figurines, these musical figurines can go for $40 and above. So please be on the lookout for that one as well. And, um, and that might, that, that these might bring you a good profit. But isn't that so cute? It's like this little bear. I don't know what the heck he's doing. What is he doing? Seriously. And he actually comes out now that I think about it. Um, and it's now making me think, did he go with this? 
he was in there. That makes me wonder, was he actually with this? Anyway, this little bear that was with this figurine, it, it says um, Herman Teddy Original. Hmm, let me have to look him up. Maybe he's, but it says made in Germany. It says a Herman Teddy Original. See, here's the tag. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right. Anyway, I have to see if he belongs to that. Now that I'm thinking about it, somebody may have very well have stuck him in there. I don't know. I'm going to look him up separately. He very well may not go along with that figurine, but I'll see. But it's so funny, though. You know what? I think he does because see that hole in the seat? And then he has this kind of sort of stem on, the, on, on him. See that? So maybe he does go with that. I do a little bit of research on that. But I do know that when I originally looked this... Uh, uh, Tuscher Walther up Germany that these figurines and these metal uh, figurines do go for very good money. So be on the lookout for that one as well. All right. The next item I'm going to show you are, let's see, which one should I show you? Totally found these all in a lots, a big box. And I'm going to tell you what they are. These are called, I just saw it. Oh yeah. Plastic bill. Okay. Got it. So, I was in the thrift store and I found a whole big box. Can you guys see that a whole big box of this kind of, um, what's the word I'm using? I am losing my train of thought. Whole big box of plastic. Uh, I'm calling it, um, like, what, you, what am I trying to say? Like uh, when people build train sets, that type of stuff. That's what I thought it was for. It probably is. But nonetheless, these are all a whole big box tray of them and then it also had these very vintage uh bottle trees i know these these do really well too very vintagey snow-capped trees but i have about one two three four five six six of these type houses and train station stuff and schoolhouses and i have a ton of these bottle bottle things this just came in here and if i remember correctly i'm going to tell you in a minute I paid $4.99 for this entire box. The good news is that Plasticville, again, look for this label. It's called Plasticville USA. All of these plastic houses go for really good money individually. Individually. You buy them separately. I mean, um, they are listed separately, and these things go for good money. I paid $4.99 for the entire box. If I'm remembering correctly, I think one of these go between... 10 and 12 dollars for just one so i have this one i have i'm going to show you all of them i because i want you to see how cute they are so you can be on the lookout for these i have this one looks like a schoolhouse to me this one looks like uh blah 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 like just a just a regular house right and they are all plastic bill they say that in the molding isn't that cool and then I have, this one is my favorite, this uh, this church with the red door. And look at the windows. I don't know if you guys can see those windows. I don't think you're going to be able to see, but they look like a stained glass windows. They are so cute. It has the little church steeple in the red door. Again, plastic veil. All right, so it's that one. And then I have a barn. So cute. And then I have, what is this one? I thought this was at a depot, right? Like at a train depot. It even has some little plastic people, right? So apparently this plastic veil, I'm just guessing, goes to um, some type of, uh, what do you call it? I'm just drawing a blank. It's not necessarily a train set, but, um, oh my goodness. I just saw a movie with uh, Wesley Snipes, and he actually collected <clears throat> Head it all out on a table or whatever, but anyway, I'm drawing a blank. People build sets like collectors build sets of these little towns and stuff like that, and these are highly collectible. So, they they uh, I'm sure people have uh, a room uh, uh, full of or a table that's big enough to hold like an entire town, like they build these, these things with these little figurines. So, I'm a hundred percent sure that I'll be able to make my uh my uh, $4.99 back. Here's another little piece too. It looks like this is a, someone waiting for a train. And then again, I have all of these, all of these vintage bottle brush trees, which I may end up lotting these up. I may not sell those with that. I may just kind of sort of lot these all up 
and um, and sell them, right? Because people love these and people will use them as a, as a part of their, uh, when they're building their scene. So again, who knew that Plasticville, wait a second, who knew that Plasticville, uh, plastic um, houses go for good money, right? So I'm so glad I picked this up. And, uh, and I think I'll definitely be able to make my money back 10 times over. All right. So I think that is it. I have one other thing you guys probably, this is probably not necessarily a, a who knew you guys probably already know about this. Um, but I'm going to show you some just in case I'm sure you do. I'm going to show you this one. I'm going to show you these. All right. So you guys probably definitely know this. These are, okay, here we go. Put that one back. Oh. Is that All right, so these are um, beaded, not uh, frosted or sugar coated or whatever people call them. They're not beaded and they're not frosted. Sorry about that. I thought that was my delivery. Um, they're not beaded. I'm sorry, they're not frosted, but they are beaded. And these things are quality, quality, quality pieces, right? I know that they're uh, mid century. Mid -century modern and I know that they are quality vintage pieces. This, these are some strawberries. Here's a beautiful orange. Aren't they beautiful? Just love them. And here's a banana. So I think I paid for the entire, I have a whole box full of them, like a whole box. I want to say I probably paid about $5.99 for the entire box of them. I picked them up. Yes, indeedy, I did. And um, and I just, uh, right before I, I logged on, I, I needed to look these up again because I can't remember what I uh, what these go for. But I looked them up on eBay, and I think I saw a set of just four of these, like a couple of pieces of fruit that went for like maybe $19, $19.99 for a set of four. I have a box of about 20. So um, again, I'm 100% sure I'll be able to uh, to uh, recoup uh, my uh, recoup a profit um, on this entire box of these um, beaded fruit. These are not the sugar coated ones. I think I even sold some of those before the sugar coated um, fake fruit. Um, but I didn't know until I picked these up that they have beaded ones too. And these are, these are, I'm considering them mid-century modern retro, but these go for good money too. So who knew that in addition to the, uh, the, uh, sugared fruit, that these beaded fruit go for good money too. Now, again, a lot of these items, guys, that I'm showing you, you guys probably know, maybe you do. This is all new to me. I didn't know, but I'm so very glad that I actually grabbed the unusual and grabbed those things that look like, oh my goodness, it could be, you know, next to nothing, like this whole big box of uh, plastic house figurines. Who knew, you know? So who knew that the, even, even though the dollar horses are are, are collectible. Who knew that these Japanese Yawata Uma folk art horses are um, are collectible as well? So who knew? So anyway, I hope that helps you guys. It definitely has helped me. I'm so glad I was able to kind of sort of pull this together. And now um, uh, I can um, share what I found, not only being a haul, but also the things that I have learned over the last couple of uh, months by collecting these items. So be on the lookout for all of these babies. And I'm hoping to get all of these things listed in the next week. And, uh, and hopefully I'll be able to make a profit too, but I think I will. All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful evening and I will talk to you soon. Smooches.